Welcome to the Prep Beat. I'm TJ Holmes. Alongside me, as always, Thomas Lawrence. We're previewing the Trinity High Wolves football season this year. You know, the Wolves are coming off, or Wolves are coming off a playoff appearance the last few years. Four years removed for a section championship, but lately they haven't been really satisfied with their results. Yeah, you know, and I was talking to second-year coach Jeremy Wardrip, took over for Jamie Green and won a title with the Wolves. And, you know, they're proud of what they've done the last couple of years. They've been in the playoffs, and you know, they won a playoff game two years ago, got in last year, but they're not satisfied. And he says there's no more excuses for this team. There's a lot of seniors, and one of those biggest seniors is Corey Cook, a guy who was well over a thousand yard rusher last year. He's one of the best punters in the section. He's huge on their defensive line and you know they're proud of their depth, but as far as Trinity goes, really starts and ends with Corey Cook. Yeah, you look at the wing T system that they run and lately you know, the last few years they've had that one guy that's really been their focal point. You look back at Luke Curran, he's a three year varsity star. I mean he's the school's all time leading rusher. He he just bulldozed people. But when you look at what he had, the reason why he was so successful is sometimes he got to take some plays off by having some other guys run the ball. Who on this training team can really help Cook and be able to, to take some of that pressure off of him? You know, talking to Wardrop, they have seniors and Tony Adair and Josh Spagla Jr. and Bobby Cunningham. And he's not only faithful that those guys can get the job done, but that they'll have fresh legs when the teams they're playing, whether it be non-league or in the Sacramento Valley League, you know, they won't be so fresh by the time the game's over. Yeah, you, know, you talk about fresh. Um, the, the second half of the schedule, that's when stuff starts kind of get a little weary with injuries and stuff. But starting off the season, they have uh, in the first, they, they play at home three of their first four games. Those are favorable games for, for Trinity. Then you look at the second half of the season in league, they have a really rough three game stretch when they play Live Oak, Pierce, and Willows. And that, that's really going to be crucial for playoff season going into the postseason. And that's definitely a gauntlet for them. Thankfully, for Trinity Week 10, they do finish up at home against Mount Shasta, a team that was winless a year ago. So that might be that last game Trinity needs to either get a playoff spot or a home playoff spot or wherever it may be, depending on how the season goes. And let me remind you that Trinity did put up a six, put up 67 on Mount Shasta in that last game of the year to kind of rest some guys, kind of get some confidence going into the playoffs. So that's going to do it for Trinity High. Football preview, check out prepbeat.com for more high school sports.